What's going on, YouTube? I have a live model here. He has no corona. I have it, but he doesn't have it, so we're safe. Okay. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank God we're safe, so everyone stay healthy. But uh, today, I'm going to be cutting Eric's hair. And this is exciting because he agreed to let me shave his head like mine. Thank you, Eric, I appreciate that. Uh, no. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is a great opportunity to showcase how to trim a haircut like this. So we're gonna keep a little bit of length and what I wanna do is just kinda go through the entire haircut, keep the layers, but really explain step by step. This is gonna be a step by step video, so please watch along. But really what I wanna do is explain kinda the procedure that I do in order for someone to kind of keep a little bit of longer hair, um, but still trim it at the same time. And I know a lot of guys wanna have haircuts like this. I mean, even his hair now looks good, but it could use some work, it could use some shaping up, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. This is water and rubbing alcohol to kill all the germs. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is just, just water and a little vodka, because college guys like to you know, party a little bit, so. <laughs> All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, he washed his hair previously, so um, before he came in, so it's still pretty damp. So all I'm pretty much looking to do is just um, add some more moisture to this. And you want to make sure that the hair is pretty much evenly uh, saturated with water. And also I'm spraying my 25 spray in just to kind of keep, keep the hair uh, a little more, more damp. All right, and this is a great cutting tool uh, when you're, uh, and it's also, you know, I best-selling pre-styling product. So what I'm doing right now is he has pretty much almost like a center parting right into here. So we're gonna work off the center part and I'm going to just take a look. And every time I cut someone's hair, and actually I can tell you had a pretty decent haircut before. Um, you know, usually I'm able to look at someone's hair and instantly be like, yo, somebody botched it. But <laughs> this actually looks pretty good even though it's grown out quite a bit. How long have you been growing your hair, Eric, for like a couple? Since March. Since March, okay. So like seven or eight months. How'd you usually get your hair cut? Was it like it's really short? Sh it short, huh? Faded on the sides and like a six on top. Wow. All right. So, so it's grown out. Um, it's grown out pretty well. So right now I'm basically just focused on setting up the sectioning, which is what I always do and I'm working off the center. And then, let's turn this way here. What I'm going to do is, you find the high point of the head right here, which is the flattest part of the head, and then you create a section, which usually is right around the, behind the ear area, right into here. And all this is doing is just separating the front from the back and giving you a clean slate on where you need to be cutting which is very, very technical. And if you're just somebody watching this who's just like, thinks, you know, this is fun to watch and you want to maybe tell your stylist, your barber, that's awesome. But if you're a professional, it's very important to kind of map out your haircuts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start right in the back. And depending on the hair length, let's turn this way and keep, sometimes the models have a tendency to slouch and that's why I have the, the electric shock on them, he has the bracelet on, so if he moves, you're gonna get the shock, all right? Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start off in the nape area. So this is basically gonna be the foundation of where the entire haircut is going to kind of be based off of down and through here. And I think even though the length is good, it could use some cleaning up. So we're gonna take maybe about an inch or so off right there at the back here, and all I'm doing is just cutting it straight across and just tidying up some of that length so it's not uh, too kind of straggly. And this always seems to be the area that gets kind of straggly and starts to wing out and get, and most people hate while they're growing their hair out because it just becomes out of control and it makes it look a little bit more on the messier side. So that's why it's really important to make sure that if you are growing your hair, and you do want to keep it longer, that you keep the bottom area fairly neat so it doesn't get out of control. So it really, I know this is, uh, seems like a very complicated haircut, but 
It's, it's not, you know, it can be, but it's, I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just creating the outline, right? The, the base or the foundation of the haircut. And that's what's really important when, when cutting is the outline. So if you are going to your stylist or your barber or whatever, this is where you tell them, this is where I want my hair as far as the length goes, all right? This is, this is really the most important part of the whole thing. So I'm combing this all down in the back now and there's really not much hair left to cut because everything now is, the top layers are coming down to that base point right in through here. And what we've done, head up, there we go, what we've done is we've created a much neater kind of baseline throughout the neck area. Now it's time to connect this part into this part into here. So let's turn a little more towards the camera right there. And all we're gonna really do is comb this straight down and I'm going to see where the hair needs to be connected and there it is right there. So all I'm doing now is creating something that's gonna flow right into this. And by doing this, it just keeps the hair very consistent and it has a much nicer flow to it. This is where everybody gets that nice kind of sweeping flow is through this part right in through here. Because again, we're creating that foundation. So let's turn this way. And then as we move towards the very, very front, that's where, uh, again, we have control on how short or how long we're going to take this. So some of his ends here, and it's clear from not having a haircut in quite some time, they're a little bit kind of uh, frayed and they need to be uh, thickened up a little bit. So the ends here, right, as you can see here, it's very, very common, but those need to come right off and that's what we're doing. So we're creating kind of like a shorter or almost balanced length in through here to work in through this. So it has a fully nice flow to it. And even by combing the hair this way, you can see everything just literally goes back perfectly now, right? So I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Let's just turn this way a little bit. So time to connect right in through here. And sometimes, depending on, again, if you're a barber or a hairstylist, this is where you may see some areas where there could be some gaps or we call them holes if the hair isn't really la uh, layered properly. And that is because it's just not cut right. So sometimes you have to actually connect those and fill those gaps in. And the way you do that is by, believe it or not, cutting more hair. And that is what I'm doing is I'm making sure that this entire, let's just turn this way more towards me. Perfect, that this entire area is really, really solid, like it's a solid foundation. So you can't, everyone who's watching, you can't really see this, but off camera, there's like six hot girls here and Eric has been flirting with them the whole time. It's ridiculous, all right? You're not, please, be professional, no. <laughs> but yes, Eric is, you were, you were voted what, like most handsome guy at Rutgers or something last yeah. year, was it? Yeah. I took second place, but. Second place, all right, well. You gotta find the guy who won first place and get rid of him. I already did. <laughs> oh, you did already. <laughs> Getting first place this year. <laughs> All right, so let's look right towards the camera. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to make sure that we're balanced and of course, uneven Steven has come to the rescue and I'm uneven. So I gotta go a little bit shorter on this side. And don't, don't be like freaked out if one side, it could be just from maybe the previous haircut. You know, I have a tendency to just cut and sometimes things are just off balance from before, not a problem at all. So that's when you just go in and even it out and then we're good to go. So as you can see, the very, very front is the longest point, but it's still a little bit long in the middle here. So you just wanna take off that little bit right there. You do not ever, 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 ever wanna just take your scissors and just hack it straight across because it's not gonna work out well, trust me. It's just gonna be really, really uneven. And I have seen people do that. So if you're getting your hair cut and your barber or your stylist, you know, just takes the shears and it's like to you, 
in your mind you're going, okay, that seems like a little bit short, like get up out of the chair and run. Have you ever had a bad haircut before? Yeah. You have, huh? The last haircut I had was terrible. Really? I was and I, I was complimenting it, saying it grew out so well, and you're saying it's the best haircut, or worst haircut you ever had. It was that bad, huh? Yeah. Wow. They cut it way too short. They didn't like blend it right at all. I was gonna say, you said like fade it on the sides and a six on top. It's like, that's a pretty big difference, you know? Yeah. But I'd like, I, I would like to part in the front, like to the side like that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we've all had bad haircuts, including me. I had a full head of hair like yours, and the last haircut, this is what happened. This is a result, my head, like this. But anyway, so let's take a section right here, and this is where the layering is going to come into play. So you don't ever want to cut this too short, because if you cut this part too short, it's just going to look horrible, especially considering we've got this front here. I am going to take some length off of here, but what we need to do is kind of match this so that it's usually a bit shorter in the front and goes gradually longer to the back. So what I'm looking to do here is literally just to kind of clean up those dead ends. So we're cutting maybe about half an inch to three quarters of an inch off. And what I'm going to do next is just follow that same kind of pattern throughout the entire back of the head. And I'm doing that by bringing the hair straight up, which keeps me very, very consistent, right? And if you're a professional, this is a great method where right now we've got this whole section done and it's perfectly even. Now all we have to do is just blend everything in. So I'm gonna switch to cutting vertically where I'm pulling the hair out from the head and here's where you see all the dead ends and what needs to be blended into the top here. So I'm pulling the hair straight out and I'm going to work around the head shape. I'm gonna work around the head shape and it's pretty simple, to be honest with you. It's a pretty simple process. I don't know how to do it, but it's a pretty simple process, you know? <laughs> all right, so here we go. I see you have a little scar there, Eric, on your head. Yeah, right here. Probably happened when you were a baby or when you were drunk in a fight and you don't remember it. No. <laughs> but have you ever gotten to a, like a college like frat fight or bar fight or anything? Or? Um, no, but I, a couple weeks ago I stopped this view of like 20 people throwing in. Really? Yeah, that was kind of scary. Where was this at? On Easton. East, on Easton Avenue? Okay. So for those of you watching, Rutgers University, we're in the, the heart of Rutgers University. And Rutgers University, it's a great school, but uh, there's a couple of reputations, right, about Rutgers? <laughs> Is it true about the girls, dude? Is that, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on camera, but, you know. Um, there's a few nicknames. Yeah, there's a few nicknames that Rutgers has. Uh, but Rutgers is known for being a pretty big party school. And I actually used to be a DJ for a frat here many, many years ago for like three years. And those morons caused all Rutgers parties to get shut down for like, I think like a year or something because of stupid things that they were doing. And so there was like no more frat parties at Rutgers because of these morons. And, uh, it was, it was crazy, but I've seen some stuff at these parties that I just couldn't believe, like, <laughs> what's going on, you know? Are you in a frat at all? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Ah, how was your pledging? Was it, like, tough or? No, not really. No? Nah? Because back then, they would do stuff, like, they, they would actually, like, beat you up and stuff like that they back then. Now. They still do that? Oh. I never got beat up. You never got beat up? Well, well my frat. Your frat, yeah. I can't yeah. speak all of this. Zeta Psi. Yeah. Still? After all these years? Oh my god. I mean, this happened in like the like 90s. You weren't even born yet. No. <laughs> yeah, so it's, and if anyone, anyone who's watching this, if you're like a college frat dude, like leave a comment and be like, yeah man, party on, you know? <laughs> Stay away from the nat, are you a big natty guy? Yeah. Oh man. Yes, natty. So <laughs> natty is the bomb. <laughs> it's, good, it's, it's disgusting. It's, so <laughs> it's like 
10 bucks for a keg, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's all they drink right now. You guys drink Natty? Anyone watching drink Natty? If you do, stay away from it. I feel bad for you. <laughs> it's, all, it's all you guys can afford, though, I think, right? <laughs> the back is done, and it's time to connect the back part into the top. So what I like to do is comb the hair straight up, and you can then see, let's turn a little more sideways so people get a good angle right there. So what you're going to do is you're gonna see where the sh shorter hair is, and then bam, right into that longer hair right there. And I'm just cutting this to blend it in. I'm not looking to do anything else. I'm literally trying to just cut this to blend it so it's got a good flow to it, all right? So Eric is about to get zapped because he's flirting again. Enough with the flirt. It's not only him. Yeah, it's the 16 girls that are here too in bikinis, all right? Which I'm not going to put them on camera because they can't be seen right we'll now. Have another video. <laughs> That's why you're wearing the party shirt. That's right. This is a, this is a total happy hour, have fun shirt. All right, so we're getting closer and closer to the front. And what I'm literally doing is just combing this all back and cutting this to make sure it's perfectly even. And the longer hair will be very, very obvious, you know, of like what needs to be cut. This is, I know a lot of you who watch my videos are always trying to find out things of, you know, what do I tell my barber? What do I tell my stylist? Chances are, a hairstylist or a barber watching this whole video is <laughs> slim, but what you can do is you can mention little things like, you know, just leave the length, just skim the ends, I'm trying to grow it long. You know, if a lot of times if you mention to the professional like, hey, I'm just try I'm trying to grow it, um, you know, take maybe like an inch off, just shape it up, then that should be enough, right? But for you to have to break, I have, I've, I've said in past videos, it's not your job as the client to like, teach a barber or a stylist how to cut hair. You know, it's not your, you should be going in and having that professional really take control and giving you a good result. So watching these videos are helpful uh, in, in certain areas to understand maybe what happened or what went wrong. You know, I've had a lot of people comment on my videos are like, I wish my, my stylist spent as much time as Steven or I wish my, uh, like a lot of my female audience, um, a lot of my female audience, they're like, I wish my hairstylist, my male hairstylist was as hot as you. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I can't really do, you know, nothing I can do about it. Anyway, <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, so this is just really as good reference so that you may under, understand what's going on with your hair or why it's not, you know, laying properly. But, um, but yeah, other than that, it's, Pretty, uh, pretty standard kind of layered haircut, to be honest with you. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the corners here. And the corners here, what that does is it's kind of the transition point that goes from the top to the bottom. And again, it's just following the head shape. I'm pulling the hair straight out from the head. And I'm just connecting everything together. It's all about making sure that connection is there and that flow. So Eric, are you a TikToker man by any chance? No. You're not. not you could really? be like an instant, instant Instagram, uh, TikTok heartthrob overnight. Yeah, I've been told to become an e-boy a couple of times. If you, are, if you want to become an e-boy, then we have to change up the look completely. No, it's OK. There, dude. Now you're an e-boy. He's a total e-boy right now, just from that. <laughs> I need is like that one earring. <laughs> so I'm using my sea salt spray Tidal Wave, which is like my number one selling product. It's great for hair like this. I'm gonna give you this, Eric, as a gift. All right, it smells good, right? Yeah, it smells great. It's actually my new cologne, not the product. But thank you, I appreciate the compliment. Um, no, <laughs> you know, Tidal Wave does smell really good. Eric, it takes a while for my humor to kick in. No, I think you're good. You know, now that we're almost done, he's starting to get my jokes. <laughs> All right, so I'll just clean you up here. At least you didn't ask about OnlyFans. About what? 
<laughs> I wouldn't be asking a dude about that. <laughs> so Eric, what's your OnlyFans page, bro? No. <laughs> I asked the girls here, because there's a bunch of hot chicks here, what their OnlyFans was, and they didn't give it up. Even though I'm willing to pay, they still didn't give it up. I don't get it. <laughs> sub I'd subscribe to my OnlyFans, too, if I had one. <laughs> number one tipper. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to blow dry Eric's hair, and there's a few different things you can do. So for this type of look, your hands will be the best styling tool because it's really just raking, a lot of raking motion because it's going to bring out the layers and scrunching and stuff like that to really just kind of bring out the texture. Tell me Eric does not resemble Ian. They're like, Look at that, man. Look at it. Crazy. I knew it. I have an eye for, for this type of stuff. All right, so we've got the old school Harry Styles right here. The Harry Styles sweep. Harry Styles, right? <laughs> it's just temporary. It's just temporary. Look at his smile. He loves it. You like it, Eric? Looks yeah. good, right? You can, you can see it in the monitor. So let's break down exactly what I did. Um, again, I created my outline first throughout the nape area. So for all those who are kind of curious, keep spinning. This is how long it is right here. It's not like down here or way up short. It's got to have some sort of length to it. And then I continued that shape up and through the corners here, connected it throughout the front. So when you pull this down, it goes probably just about to the middle of the ear. And then the front here, again, it's angled going a bit shorter, but the front comes down just to like the tip of the nose. But because um, the center parting, when you brush it back, it's a little bit shorter. Then I created the layers throughout the entire back. The top is probably about, I'd say, four to four inches long, four and a half inches long on top. Same thing, same consistent length throughout the entire top here. And what's key to this is that it's all balanced which means that even though it looks really nice now, you've got these cool flips and stuff like that, even if you wanted to kind of mess it up or the hair kind of in the face a little bit, something like this, you, you could still do that and it still looks good. You know what I mean? Or you can just kind of brush everything back and have that kind of natural flow. The hair is always going to fall just like this because of the way we cut it, right? This haircut can really never look bad. That's what's awesome about it. Well, pat on my back anyway. No, no, but this haircut really can't look can't look bad because it's just, it's a great balanced layered shape. The key again for something like this is tidal wave because you need some sort of support and some sort of hold. And this provides just the amount of that kind of sea salt grit and hold that's perfect for this look. He can just wake up, have it, you know, air dry and it's still going to look good. Um, so yeah, dude, I think, I think you're, uh, I think you're good. Well, Eric, um, the viewers want to know what is your OnlyFans? Do you have an OnlyFans page? Yeah, it's OnlyFans slash Eric-1-3. <laughs> Not 6.9? No. Okay, okay. Come on, that's, that'd be inappropriate. <laughs> that's right. I like that. It's funny, funny. It's funny when somebody can joke with me on my level. I, I love it. But anyway, no, seriously, do you, wanna, do you want like all these stalkers to know your Instagram page, or would you rather not? Because a lot of people will see this. Yeah, I guess so. All right, tell everyone what um, your Instagram is. Silva Eric, D-A-S-I-L-V-A, Eric. Awesome, awesome. And that's on Tinder? Yeah, on Tinder. Tinder, too, yeah. Tinder, okay. <laughs> so anyone, everyone, please go give him a follow. Like, just don't stalk him, but tell him, leave a comment that you watched on, us on the YouTube channel and stuff like that. It would be awesome. I had a lot of fun doing this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a Guy.